Google Wave. Google has said in many instances it wants to get rid of the Wave platform. It's saying that it's not hitting off. Very sad. Well, why don't you say? I know a lot of people use Wave. If I, I would use more, I would use Wave a lot more if um, people used Wave. And I think that's where Google went wrong and Google didn't account and didn't give it Wave enough time to settle into people. People still don't know about Wave. They're still technologically like troubled people. Yes, I will use that term. And they don't know about Wave. And there's other people that do know about Wave and they just don't use it for the same reason. Uh, Google didn't give it enough time. You know, uh, but what people don't realize is that everything Google does is open source. So you can start your own Google Wave if you want. It just got to get the code off the internet. It's free, uh, and it's available for anyone who wants to uh, do a Google Wave for themselves. Call whatever the heck you want. Um, still going to be a wave. So. You can start it right now. Uh, just get the code offline. I'll put a link in the description if I can find one. But even but the what the problem is for people if you want to start your own wave, start your own wave system, you need servers and enough space for something like that. Because even for someone who has a web server that has unlimited space on their web server that's a lot of space I mean that's quadrabytes of data terabytes and terabytes of data more than terabytes of data you know for if you are hosting everyone in the world that is quadrabytes of data which is what Google has Google has thousands of trillions of servers you know that store quadrabytes of data and they can handle that. I mean, I would love to start my own wave, no doubt. But do I have the space for it? I don't think so. I know I don't. I have the equipment. I know I have the equipment. I'm going to set up everything by winter, hopefully. I, I can start my own Google Wave between me and my family. I could, I could do that. I could go and have it go to wave.billings.com. Or wave dot let's talk. I could do a wave dot let's talk tech dot com with no problem, and simply start my own wave between me and family and friends. I could do that, or I could open it up to the rest of the world and need terabytes and terabytes of data terabytes and terabytes of server hard drive space to store all of your mail or I could give say okay yeah, I'm only gonna give you <laughs> I'm only gonna give you five megs <laughs> so <laughs> I'm only gonna give you five megs to hold all your hold all your emails in so you only you can only store seven emails and that's it that, that that's all we're gonna give you <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't have the space for that, and neither does a lot of people. So, my my question to you would be, do you, would you want, if you had the space for this, if you had, a, like, terabytes of servers, if you had, like, one server that could do all this, would you do it? Would you uh, actually code? Even if you don't know code, you, it would if you wanted to do this, would you do it? If you had the equipment for it, if you had the knowledge in the equipment, would you actually go through, take all the hassle, and start your own wave just to bring it back. Even if it's under a new domain not, and not owned by Google, owned by yourself, you know, and you run it and maybe a couple other people. Would you go through and go through the hassle of doing this?